Yeah. What's up, Eagle Nation? This is your boy, Darth the Rock the Eagle, coming at you live and direct. Just to let you know that the Eagles put up a pretty good fight against the New York Giants, won the game 34 to 13. That was the uh, final score. And most importantly, you're probably looking at me and saying, well, okay, this is a guy with the glasses on. What is he trying to do? What is he trying to prove? Well, and there's nothing to prove at this point, but a lot to say because the video is two days behind, which I apologize for. Hope you all understand in the process. But um, the question remains, were the Eagles good or were they better or were the New York Giants that bad? Well, let's put it this way. We were in the same predicament at New York Giant, but the only thing was the Giant was one and four. We were two and three. We were favored to win the football game from the standpoint, and the Giants were scheduled to lose the game by 25 points. As you can say, that the point spread was a little bit close than what uh, people anticipated, but I'm only here to say this once, and I'm going to say this loud and clear. Um, during the course of the, of, the, of the two days that the Eagles won the game against the New York Giants, the Eagles had an issue with stopping the run. Now, I put on Facebook a while back, or a couple days back, about Saquon Barkley and um, Ezekiel Elliott. Now, I was not trying to compare the two. As a matter of fact, I didn't make no comparison to I only said that they all that they both built the same, but... And they say anything about their running style. Now, let's not get me wrong. There is a difference between the two running backs. But they are both built the same. Saquon Barkley is a rookie. He's young. And he got uh, fresher legs compared to Ezekiel Elliott going into his um, fourth, third or fourth season. And he's just a downhill straight runner. But he is a pretty good passer. I mean, a pretty good pass protector and a pretty good um, back out of the backfield where well, Saquon Barkley. Now, I'm not comparing the two. I'm only saying what both, what, 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 what both players can do. You know what I'm saying? So don't get the propaganda or don't get the issue confused. Because a lot of you guys out there got confused about what I was saying on Facebook. So I'm making it perfectly clear at this point and very time. But there seem to be a lot of... um situations going on with Saquon Barkley because even though he was able to get 130 yards on 13 carries and two touchdown passes, two touchdown catches for that matter, um, I'm sorry, one as a run and one on the pass. So, I ain't got no issues against Saquon Barkley. Matter of fact, the guy is damn good. He, he, he probably the better back in the NFL at this point in time. He's on pace to, to beat... Um, Ezekiel Elliott's 7, 1,600 yards rushing from the previous from the previous two years. You know what I'm saying? So he's on he's on he's on pace to get 1,700 yards rushing, and somewhere between 700 to 800 yards receiving, which will put him well over the mark from Zekwon, you know, from uh, Ezekiel Elliott's rookie year, and he's on his first rookie year, so he, he's on pace to to beat that mark. But a lot of attention seemed to be going towards the New York Giants and Saquon Barkley and what he had done against the Philadelphia Eagles' run defense, which is why I said what I said. The Eagles need to get better at stopping the run. They weren't able to contain Saquon Barkley in those run games and weren't able to, to um, stop him on screen plays. They need to get better doing that. And I still say that we are okay. We're 3-3, three and three, but... Our test comes Sunday after next against the Carolina Panthers, a team that we beaten on their home turf last year when they come to Philadelphia. Now, even though the Giants did manage to come back and I won't beat the Panthers last Sunday or Sunday, yeah, last Sunday, you know what I'm saying? That's past. Uh, that still gives me uh, concern about our run defense. Now, our pass protection it's an issue as well. Um, JP went out with a um, calf injury 
um, I think it was a contusion, in the, a hip contusion of the dick that what he got, but they said he's, he's able to play through it, maybe. Or he might want to split in time with um with V, with Mr. V himself. So they may split some time in pad protection because here's the question that, that, that I have. We got to continue to pound the rock. We did okay against the New York Giants, but we need to get better because the Eagles have not had a 100-yard rusher in quite some time. That's why I said we need a three-down back. Now, I don't know if we're going to get Le'Veon Bell. I don't know if we're going to get David Johnson. Or I don't know if we're going to get the boy Josh Howard, who's up there in Chicago. So I don't know how that's going to work. But I do hope that um, Howie Roseman come up with some, 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 some kind of plan to get one of those three backs or went into next year and get a pretty good back in the first round. Because we do have a first round pick and two second round pick that we got from a previous team where a trade off of back here some time ago. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the draft is going to bring next year because that's why that's why I watch college football because college football gives you all the latest details on prospects that could be a first, second, or third round players all the way down to the seventh round. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I look forward to. I suggest that a lot of you should watch college football as well. Some of you like Penn State, some of you like Michigan State or Michigan, Florida, Tennessee, and other teams around the globe in different conferences. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you all keep your eyes on that because that's what I watch college football for. Not just for the sport of it, but for the draft of it. Because we are going to pick somebody from one of these colleges in next year's first round. So I don't know if the Eagles are going to get an offensive tackle or they're going to get a running back. Because like I said before, we need a three down back. Saquon Barkley and Ezekiel Elliott are both three down backs. That's what we need. Because if we don't have that, we're not going to be able to keep Carson Wentz clean. Now, you can continue to use uh, Marwood and use some of the other guys to keep defense on, but it's not going to work all the time because I'm quite sure you all watched the game against the New York Giants. Um, Marwood ran the ball rather well, but the Giants were able to get in the backfield and stop a lot of those run plays. That's why I said we need a three-down back that can knock down defensive tackles and ends and able to cut out left and right or catch the ball out of the backfield. That, what have, have, that kind of running back that we need at this time. We haven't had a third down back since Deuce Staley. He was our last three down back and haven't had one since. So, like I said before, we need to make sure that we do get a three down back between this trade that's coming up or in next year's draft. Of course, I prefer to have one from the draft because they got fresher legs and they can attack the line of scrimmage. They can run, knock down tackles and ends, and bowl over defensive backs and linebackers that tend to make tackles. Like Saquon Barkley against New York, against the Philadelphia Eagles, they passed Thursday night. So, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Carson Wentz was able to get over 200 or 300 yards passing three touchdown passes. They all were runs. I mean, they all were pass plays, you know what I'm saying? And the offensive line did real good protecting, but not good enough because they got to um, Carson Wentz quite a few times in that backfield. So I feel if the Eagles can, can continue to keep Carson Wentz clean, he can make the play downfield or scan the field for them before he throw a ball. And the running backs need to continue to make runs. I mean, long runs. Because we haven't had a long run from scrimmage in quite some time. And like I said, a third down back is needed. Wide receiver did pretty well catching the ball. Tight end did real well catching the balls. Defensive fronts were able to get pressure on um, Eli and get to him pretty well. Because we all know Eli is kind of vulnerable when it comes to um, guys getting to his face. Because that's what he's pretty much known for in the last five years that he's been, the last five years that the Eagles have played the New York Giants. The guy cannot complete balls like he used to. He's getting old, and I think it's time for him to retire. I'm quite sure some of you guys probably would know that and still, that's why I'll be the Giants are going to go out to a, a, a quarterback in this year's draft. They need someone to replace 
Eli Manning because he get, he's, he's up in age right now. Uh, he has o over four or fifty thousand yards passing, which which pace puts him in the Giants all time record books and the NFL all time record books as well. So a lot could be spoken on when it comes to the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles, but the Eagles done extraordinarily well. I'm not surprised. But our test comes next Sunday next Sunday after next against the Carolina Panthers. I'm looking forward to that game. That's a home game. And I'm quite sure a lot of Eagle fans are gonna be there cheering their teams on, singing the Fly Eagle Fly song, the fight song, and doing what they do best, making it loud for the opposing quarterback to not get their plays or signals off. So I can speak a lot about what I just spoke of now and I've done real well so far to this point, and I hope you all enjoyed my video. If you do, you can put a comment down at the bottom of the description page. This is your boy, Dr. Rock the Eagle, signing out. Peace, one love.